Hello, everyone, and welcome to some Mr. FPGA news. This week, we will be talking about Taki Udon's Mr. Products, an upcoming FPGA that might be officially used for the Mr. Project, Neo Geo Pocket Color updates, and more. Also, check out my channel sponsor, Mr. Add-ons, a place where you can get all your Mr. needs. Things like full Mr. setups, accessories, IO boards, and more. Now let's get to the news. Modal Module released a core that turns the Mr. FPGA into a MIDI module that runs off the Sega Genesis or Mega Drive sound chip. You can either use MIDI devices over USB, DIN, UDP, or grab a gamepad to play music. All 10 voice channels are supported. That means you can use the 6 FM channels, 3 PSG channels, and 1 noise channel. To help you get started, you can choose from 127 built-in FM patches from classic Genesis titles, so you don't have to create your own instruments. One of the challenges of FM music is creating good-sounding instruments that work well in an arrangement. These patches should give you a great starting point, but if you're up to it, you can load custom patches, but I believe they need to be created on an external application. There are many more other features to the core that you can check out on the project's GitHub. This core gets automatically downloaded when you update your mister. Slowly and steadily, Anton Gale is releasing hardware schematics for the Atari published Kangaroo arcade game. Recently, schematics for the input and output board were shown, and also schematics for the sound hardware. Kangaroo is a 1980s platformer where you control a mother kangaroo who must make her way to the top to reach her child. I've never played the arcade game, but did enjoy the port to the Atari 2600. Schematics not only help with core development, but also preservation of hardware. Antonio Villena is selling a case kit for QM Tech's Mr. Compatible FPGA boards. The kit comes in at 99 euros. The kit has an IO board that can output 24-bit analog video. Everything is housed in acrylic covers. There's a USB hub with six ports a DB9 joystick port that can be also used for snack, SPDIF optical through 3.5mm connector, an RGB fan cooler, and more. Get the full details in the product page. Antonio confirms that this kit works with QM Tech's board that has built-in SD RAM because it's linked in the product page. Since the non-SD RAM board has a different GPIO pin layout, it's unclear if it will work with that too. So if you're interested in this, Make sure to confirm with Antonio before purchasing, if you have that board. During the Retro RGB panel at Retro World Expo, we get an idea on where the Mr. FPGA project might be heading in terms of new hardware. Mr. Developers are evaluating new boards that are coming out, specifically the DE25 Nano by Terrasic. This new board will be able to handle higher clock speeds that can benefit the AO46 and Amiga cores. The ARM SoC will also be more powerful which might mean an MT32 Pi will not be required and can run straight from the DE25. Last time I tried to run MT32 Pi support on the DE10 Nano itself, the experience was not good. Not needing an MT32 will help keep setup simpler. Mentioned in the panel about the more powerful ARM chip was the possibility of emulating better GPUs that can help out the AO46 core. These were just some of the possibilities that were discussed. No one has actual hardware, and in order to find out the full capabilities of this new board, developers will first need to get them in their hands. There is some communication by Mr. Developers with Terrasic requesting certain things to implement, but it's up to Terrasic whether they decide to implement any requests. Final specs on the DE25 have not been revealed yet, so we can only speculate. You can see the entire talk in Dubs and Howard's YouTube channel, and a lot more is talk about outside of Mr. FPGA topics. Here's a project that will help keep your games organized while browsing your Mr. The Mr. Organized project has a collection of DATs containing A to Z folders to sort your games alphabetically for easy use. This should make it easier to browse games, especially when you have a large library. Still on the to-do list are creating DATs for computer games and console CD games. Check out the archive.org link to obtain these DATs and instructions on how to use the project. You can also discuss the project on the Mr. FPGA forums. The purchase URL for Taki's Mr. products should have gone up this weekend. Taki said the product photos for the website are finished and will share the URL and discount code after they are processed and uploaded. A video tutorial for his products will also be filmed and a new offline Mr. release that is said to make the process setup easier will be made available. 
The first batch of devices were also received and there is a second batch that are supposed to arrive around Saturday and Sunday. Taki later posted a teaser announcing the launching of the website to be in 72 hours from Thursday, which should be a week on launch. The first batch is being split with a 12-hour gap to cover all time zones. This launch will only cover the Mr. Triple Stack and add-ons for it. Taki will then work on the flagship console, but that's still around two months out before it can even be shown. Later in the week, the final pricing for the Mr. Bundles were announced. And we also now know the final name of the device. The name never changed from the initial Mr. Pie name that I don't think anybody liked. Looks like the poll Taki set up asking for a name change didn't sway him. But moving on to the pricing, these prices include a discount which you will get using the discount code not a raspberry. Let's see if people don't confuse this for some type of Raspberry Pi accessory. The base kit will cost $95.87. It will also come with a fan board and USB cable. The RAM bundle will come with a Mr. Pi, a stick of RAM, the fan board, and a USB cable. This RAM bundle will come in at $111.86. The Mega Pack will contain the Mr. Pi, a USB board, an I.O. board, a RAM stick, USB cable, and USB Wi-Fi adapter. I believe you will also have the ability to convert the I.O. board from digital to analog and vice versa, because I believe these are the pieces that will let you do that. This Mega Pack will come in at $156.86. It's crazy that you can get a full Mr. setup that's much cheaper than a DE10 Nano itself. In the post, we also got a look at the top of the packaging which revealed the name. Remember, none of these bundles will contain a power adapter. You will have to provide your own. Fortunately, the Mr. Pi will be powered over USB-C, so you most likely have an adapter lying around. But as far as I know, Taki hasn't recommended what type of wattage to use with the adapter. And any posts I've seen asking for a power adapter recommendation have gone unanswered. You will also be able to buy the I.O. board on its own for $40. And Taki has previously mentioned that the RAM stick will be available on its own too. On Saturday, Taki posted the website link and the URL is retroremake.co. Like he said before, everything will initially be shown as out of stock until the official launch. You can still browse through all the products. There are also links for a firmware slash setup guide and a contact page. There was also an update for customers from the EU and UK. They are waiting for the CE certification that's required for EU imports. So shipments to this region will be delayed by around 5 to 7 business days. Because of this, a benefit to EU and UK customers was also proposed. Any order from these regions will also come with a free set of the case template in acrylic. You will be able to select clear, atomic purple, jungle green, or blue. They will be limited and will not be sold they will only be available to the EU slash UK customers that will experience the delays. Since cases aren't officially being sold, I'm hoping that Taki gave current vendors of Mr. Products more lead time with the design files that were recently released. It would be nice to have cases readily available for purchase, or at the very least, be capable of purchasing the specific faceplate needed if we already own a case we want to use. A later post gave some bad news about another delay. It turns out that the RAM chips being received are not following proper GPL policies. This is what happened. A new RAM design was made for Taki's Mr. Pi release, and since it was a new design, the original silkscreen with attribution was not required. But the design files will still be released. However, without Taki's knowledge or approval, the actual RAM chips that were manufactured used the original Mr. design, but without the silk screening that credits the original author. Since the RAM chips being received were of the exact design as the original, attribution is required. So Taki refuses to sell these chips that do not attribute the author and was trying to find a solution to this issue. This will also affect the sale of the Mr. Pi, IO, and USB boards, even though those properly follow the GPL guidelines. Reason being that without the RAM chip, most cores will not work. Taki then posted a solution. He was in contact with Sorge, the creator of the Mr. Project and accessory boards, and says that they will add a sticker of the original silkscreen on the back of the PCB for the existing parts. He will also personally donate revenue from these boards to the creator's Patreon. They still need to contact printer companies to get the lead time on 4,000 stickers. They are going to shop around to get it in one day. Then they will start selling the board. I would have really liked to see them still sell the other boards and ship the RAM at a later date. People who really can't wait for Taki's RAM can always purchase from a current Mr. Vendor. 
There are also users who have current Mr. setups with dual RAM, and there really isn't much of a use for dual RAM on Mr. now. They can always take that second chip they have and use it with the Mr. Pi. As of Sunday afternoon, there was no updated timeline on when the website will have the items available for purchase. Mr. Cade version 2 kits are now available for sale at Mr. Add-ons. These kits allow you to have a Mr. FPGA setup connected to a JAMA arcade cabinet. Here's what's new in version 2. There's 24-bit video output, helpful for the PlayStation Saturn and Nintendo 64 cores. There's an enhanced control interface, which includes updated controls that support 8 buttons per player. There's an improved coin counter circuit. This circuit has been optimized for better reliability and accuracy. There are also integrated breakout headers. The Mr. Cade Versus and Joystick Harness breakout headers are now combined into a single streamlined board, simplifying the setup process and reducing clutter inside the arcade cabinet. If you want to check out all the rest of the features of Mr. Cade, you can head out over to the product page. QM Tech has begun selling I.O. boards and cases for their DE10 Nano clones. They sold out fast, but do say that stock will be renewed on a daily basis. I was able to purchase them on the second batch, so I'll give you my thoughts once they arrive. One thing to note about this I.O. board is that it does not support 24-bit video output. To me, that's not a big deal because only certain cores will benefit from the 24 video output like the PlayStation, Saturn, and Nintendo 64 cores. And even then, it's not a difference that will make games unplayable. However, owners of 18-bit I.O. boards can still use the PWM cores in order to achieve 24-bit output on 18-bit I.O. boards. The price for the QM Tech I.O. board alone is $25.99. And if you want to get the I.O. board and case, it will be $29.99. This is another example of getting a full Mr. setup for less than the cost of a DE10 Nano. And we have more news regarding cases and I.O. boards for the QM Tech DE10 Nano clones. Ultimate Mister is creating an I.O. board and aluminum case specifically designed for the QM Tech boards. I believe it's still in development, which is why we are only seeing some renders. Tab 2 Randomized version 0.3 is now out. This update brings with it an automated setup process and the ability to add it to update all. It can also find base ROMs automatically, but that may take a while when you run that. Tab2 Randomize is a way of having your Mr. FPGA automatically generate ROM hacks that have different attributes randomized from the original ROMs. For example, you can randomize what boss you will fight at the end of a level, randomize enemy behavior, change the location of items to a random location, and so much more. Check out the GitHub for more details on randomization. This project is also integrated into Tab2, so you can use an NVC card to randomize game attributes for you. Botego released a core for the arcade game Circus Charlie by Konami. In this game, you control a clown named Charlie through several circus-themed minigames. It's a classic game that I really enjoyed playing when I was younger. Botego also updated us on the Neo Geo Pocket Color Core. He says that games boot, but most of them present problems. However, Metal Slug First Missions seems to be working fine. Botego is aware of the core's problems and asked not to report any bugs at the moment. So that's it for this episode. Please also try to support Sorge, the maintainer of the Mr. Project, and other Mr. Developers and contributors on support platforms such as Patreon and Ko-fi. Their hard work allows us to enjoy this amazing project. I also provide a link to all my sources in the description. Make sure to also check out RetroRGB.com to see my Mr. News videos in blog form and to get more retro-related content. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like, and if you want to see more content like this, hit the subscribe button and this bell icon so you can get notified of future videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll speak to you next time.